Despite my 30 years of research into the feminine soul, I've not been able to answer the great question that has never been answered. What does a woman want? And despite the invention of the atom bomb, the internet, polyester, the iPod rave, it is curious that this, the most famous mystery, remains unanswered. Yes? You know, it seems to me as relevant and perhaps even more of a pressing question is what does a man want? What does a man want? Really? That's the question? It's not as if I need to know what I want. I know what I want. I know what I don't want. It's not as if a man is really going to tell you the truth. They don't know. Men like to think they're all different, that they're all special. It seems like they all have crazy hearts, which they talk about a lot. They talk about being true to their hearts. They're like dogs with the headmasters. And in retrospect, I've spent most of my adult life studying this question. And everything I've learned, I've learned by sleeping around. There was Patrice. Blue eyes. He was covered in tattoos. He smelled like rose oil. His face reminded me of sand dunes in a movie about a faraway world. He sang me a song as I was going to sleep on our first night, and for breakfast he brought two coffees and two iPods. He had a tattoo for every person he loved and for everybody who was important to him that had died, starting with his grandpa, who I think was a cowboy. Oh, what was up with those monogram towels? Oh, but we did love to dance in the mornings. And then there was Yared. He was really attentive to his own needs. He would ask me to get his clothes out for him when I stayed at his house. The white shirt, the blue linen trousers, he would say. Mm, he loved Chinese food. He was a Taurus and he always smelled like wine and cologne. When he kissed me, he liked to lick my teeth. He didn't talk much, but we had lots of sex. Lots of sex. That was all he wanted to talk about. Sort of in place of foreplay, I guess. He would say, I don't like sleeping with easy women because I've slept with hundreds of them and none of them are good in bed. Our last date was at a Chinese restaurant called The Red Door. Sometimes it's time to say goodbye. The first night with Henry was pretty amazing. We drank so much wine. That's when he told me his whole life's philosophy was life is a Woody Allen movie. And then he started saying really dirty things, but saying them with his hands, like in a bad Jar Jar Binks accent. It was funny. He had really cold ears. His shoes always smelled like a Chinese restaurant. I liked him because he was happy, not ambitious, just happy. Josh. Joshi. He was sweet and small and nice. Really talented in that sort of completely skilled in a self-assured but offhanded way. He was really good at cleaning my house, which he would do sometimes when I would sleep, and he was really interested in showering while I was in the bathroom talking with him. He was a Virgo, obviously. I used to cut his hair in the kitchen. He would sit on a low seat with his head in my lap, like a cat, and I would hold it, cutting off what seemed right. It made for a funny haircut, but it was really sweet. I think he was gay. I guess I could be. This is Julie, and she really caught my eye and my hand one night at a party. I was standing in line for the bathroom, and all of a sudden this arm came out and pulled me in. And I was like, what's going on? And she said, shh, just wait and see. But the weird thing is, when I saw her around town, she acted like she didn't even know me. And then there was Joe? No, I never dated Joe. Hmm. Oh, it was Charles. Cocky, slightly mean, aggressive, passionate but loud, liked dogs, Rottweilers and hounds only. He was from New York and acted like I was stupid because I wasn't as fast as he was. But the fact is, he wasn't fast. He was just thoughtless and impetuous. He talked and talked and talked. 
Even when I couldn't hear a word he said, he didn't seem to notice that I wasn't listening. He just kept talking and talking. On our first date, he said, your house is going to look so nice with my furniture in your living room. Just like that. No art about it or anything. And when I saw his furniture, I knew he was right. But we never got that far. Jimmy was an Elvis guy. He drank light beer and bourbon. <laughs> we spent a lot of time playing Monopoly. He thought the Depression era was great and he wanted to live in it all the time. <sighs> he had the nicest smile. Our first morning together, he told me about his mother and how she made eggs. And then he let me talk. He was actually pretty quiet, but when he said something, it was real. And one day he said, I'm going to go raise pigs. Are you in or are you out, babe? So, the question isn't, what does a man want or what does a woman want? The question is, What do I want? I don't know. 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 Thank you.